So in this video, I wanted to talk about a very rare, very strange pen that I picked up not too long ago. It's called the Pentel Graphgear 1000 Ball. I think a lot of people out there will be familiar with the Graphgear 1000 because it's a very popular mechanical pencil. It's, uh, it sells for a very fair price. I forget where it's at now, but classically, you, like for a while, you could buy them for under $10, and it was all metal build quality, had a really nice click action, and it was a kind of a double knock, so you the tip was not exposed. You push this to expose the tip, then you could push more lead out. So it was really good for transporting because it has a blunt tip that won't stab you in your leg or scratch up your laptop or anything like that. So to, even to this day, the Graph Gear is a very popular pencil, and I know it's uh, a lot of people talk about it on the channel and on, on Sharpen.com and stuff like that. What a lot of people don't know, and I myself didn't know before a few years ago, was that the Graph Gear 1000 is briefly, I don't know how long exactly, but it was sold as a ballpoint pen for some time in Japan. I've been looking for one of these for, uh, I don't want to even admit how long, but for a number of years now, I finally picked one up. It wasn't easy to find. I did pick one up and, uh, you know, people put them on eBay, but they're always like, you know, $200 or something crazy. And I wasn't going to pay that. So it took me a long time to find one. And, uh, yeah, here it is. So it's called the Pentel Graph Gear 1000. That's all the same, but you could see right here, it says ball here, which is obviously referring to it being a ballpoint pen. If you want to really get into it, you'll notice that this is model BK1017, so BK1017, and uh, that's a different model number than the pencil, which I don't have here. I don't want to keep this, I don't want to make the video too long, but it's a different model number, number than the, the pencil. So sometimes you'll see someone selling the pencil and have it mislabeled online as the pen, and you're like, man, should I, should I go for it or should I not? Should I roll the dice? If you look for that BK1017 serial number or model number, or whatever, you'll know that this is the the pen instead of the pencil. So the the funny thing is that you'll have to like the GraphGear 1000 if you like this one because all the features are essentially the same. You see that same hybrid grip with the knurling and the little rubberized dots here, same sort of metal barrel. The clip action is the same, N no real difference here. Clearly the button has been changed because you don't need to accommodate an eraser and doesn't have to be removed to put lead in it. So if you pull this, nothing happens. If you push this down, the eraser, or the sorry, the clip action is the same. This locks the pipe in here. It locks the pen out. And then to retract it, you can't push this. You have to push it here. So same, uh, basically the same as the mechanical pencil. You'll notice that at stock, the pen does ship with a, a needle point refill. You see here, it's not a super fine needle point, but it's definitely a needle point. And you could see how it narrow here and then it has a nice step here. And then when you put this back, it is the blunt end, which is the same writing tip as the one found on the pencil. So this is basically the Graph Gear 1000 that most people know and love. And uh, as a mechanical pencil, could you get your Graph Gear pencil and turn it into the pen? Uh, not so easy. You'd have to, f there are some changes to the internals that I haven't really played with. And I'm going to try to do that in the future and see if it's possible now that I have the proper refill and I have the original so I can compare and get an understanding of what the internals look like. But uh, so far in what I've looked at, it, it kind of was not really worth the trouble. And I didn't want to ruin a Graph Gear 1000 just to do it. Now I have the original of the ball. It's been a lot of fun to play with. And uh, you could see if you take this apart. Uh, let's see how this goes. Pretty similar components to it, but the refill is pressed in here. And we have this like comically long refill. It looks like a clown car in this thing because... There's no real internals to it. They kept the inside very simple. All that happens is this refill, it just smashes into the top of the button. So you have this absurdly long refill, 
that would probably last for, you know, 15 years of writing. And the, uh, let's see what it is called. It's called the Pentel. It's a 0.7 millimeter. And it's the BKL. N7. There is also a 0.5 millimeter version, which presumably would be the BKL N5, made in Japan, ballpoint ink. And to get it back, you just push it in here, work all the way here, and then you sort of smush it in. It pressure fits into the button up here. You put this piece. How was that? Was that this way? Nope, I guess it was this way. And then you press this thing back. The pressure, this thing f spins freely, so all the pressure comes from the tip. That's back here, and you're good to go. I haven't actually looked for those refills before because before having the pen, I couldn't figure out what refill it used. But now that I know what the refill is, I will do some more experimentation. So how does it write? It's okay, <laughs> you know all that, all that waiting and all that research and and hunting it down, and you know I love the rarity of it. I love that it's a Graph Gear. And now I have a set of Graph Gear 1000 pencil and a Graph Gear 1000 pen. Always surprises me when you know a company has an amazing pencil and they sell, you know what 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 must be a huge number of them, and then they don't have a joining pen. So that always kind of confused me. But uh, yeah, the, it's a fine refill. It's uh, nothing too special, definitely not terrible, but it's a kind of like pretty standard ballpoint. Ink is on the light side, so not really great saturation there. Okay, smoothness, not great. Uh, just it's not particularly exceptionally exceptional, honestly. Very, very much gets the job done, and it'll write on most surp surfaces like a ballpoint, but. It's, uh, you know, nothing too special. So if you're hunting down this pen, you are very much using it like you're hunting for the body. And then the chance that you're going to be able to find a refill to put in this pen that's better than this one is tough because not a lot of refills will fit in this pen uh, just too long. So maybe you could try to get a better refill here, a short, shorter one out of like a uh, high-tech C, like the mini high-tech C. A lot of people use that one. And then you somehow join it to a pen from here. And you do have some area in here to do some sort of joint, even with some, I don't know, electrical tape or something. So maybe you could hack it together. I haven't really played with it yet because I've been trying to just appreciate this this pen and the uh, the refill. But the refill is not, not really exceptional, except insofar as it's uh, crazily long and, and quite odd. But yeah, I think that pretty much covers it. There's not too much else to say. This is the Graph Gear 1000. It's sold as a pen in addition to a very popular pencil. The model is BK1017. It's a Japanese-only release. Uh, I don't think it only sold for a couple years because these are pretty hard to find. It was sold in 0.5 and 0.7. And uh, it doesn't have the retail price or anything like that on there. But they are out there. If you hunt long enough, you will find it. But uh, they're they're pretty rare, and uh, yeah, I've seen stories about them online. But this is the first one, first time I was able to track one down. So, pretty much covers it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Other than that, thanks for watching.